What's up everybody? It's your man Jay Field from how to make very sick beats.com. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are continuing on Dilla Month with some more Dilla techniques. We're going to get into his use of space. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is a quick tutorial. Space is your friend and I love the way Dilla uses space. He's used it many different kinds of ways in many, many different tracks. And I first started realizing space back in the 90s with Tribe Called Quest, Pete Rock, those kind of guys. And I liked how they would take out the snare and then come back in on the snare or take out a kick drum or a sample or whatever. But Dilla would take out the entire track, like just mute it. <laughs> I noticed he was the first one that I paid attention that did that. There was probably others that did it before him, but that's the first time I noticed. So I'm going to play a track that he produced for Fat Cat back in 2004, I believe, off the Undeniable LP. Let's listen to part of it. Crazy track. See, he did it right there. Did y'all catch that? I'm going to play it back. Look at these waves. It is, this space right here is where it happens. And then right back in, right? Now, see, space provides dynamics, man. That's why you use space. It's really, really, really helpful in, to make your beat not sound so, you know, repetitive. You want to change it up a little bit? That's a good way to do it. Just put some space. So where he puts it at, let's count it. One, two, three, four. So between measures three and four, right? One, two, three, four right up in here and you can tell where he comes back listen two three comes right back on the four and you see this right here right here is a snare drum see that so I have a track right here I'm going to utilize this down here on a track that I have this is a beat I made a while back on one of my mixtapes <clears throat> And uh, it's called Combat off one of my mixtapes off of my Bandcamp site. And I'll leave a link to that below. But anyway, it's free. Let's listen to part of it. Let's see. And we're going to utilize that Dealer Space technique. Okay, so I'm going to put it, let me find a snare real quick. Okay, right here. Here's a snare right here. So notice, right before here is some sound. And I'm going to take part of that out, but what I'm going to do is count. I'm going to count. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to do that. Let me start a little back. One, two, three, four. Okay. So right here, one, two, three, and four. I'm going to do the and of four. So that would be right about right there. Now, this is not on a grid or anything. I just dragged these tracks into a session. So never mind these up here. It's not on a grid at all. <laughs> I don't even know what, what uh, BPM this is. But anyway, let's listen now. See? I think that's a dope technique, man. Use it to your advantage. You know what I'm saying? Just take some space out here and there right before the snare comes in and bring it back. Use that to your advantage. I'll see y'all on the next one. Simple tip. Deal a month. Shout out. Do your thing. I'll see y'all on the next one. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs button, thumbs up button, thumbs down if you don't like. I just appreciate you checking me out, spending the time, <laughs> spending the time. And uh, also, 
subscribe if you haven't already. That way you will get notified every time I drop another video. Feel free to check me out on the website, pick yourself up a free drum kit. If you need some sounds, check your boy out, man. I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, also to the newsletter where I'm always giving free information and stuff that you could use. Peace, see y'all next time.